بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الحم والحزن وأعوذ بك من العجز والكسل وأعوذ بك من البخل والجبن وأعوذ بك من غلبات الدين وكحر الرجال صدق الله العظيم How are you guys? How is everyone doing? Today I'm back on uh, this uh, Shahama site, Riyadh, the one in Riyadh city. The engineer asked us to, uh, there is some kind of decor work in front of the villa. So probably we'll be doing the decor work. I have a loss and the loss was due to uh, my masons not giving me the complete productivity and stuff like that. But anyhow, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the whole world is uh, wants you to gain something and it's not written in your nasib, you're not going to get it. And vice versa, if the whole world is against you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you, so you will, there will be no loss. So you shouldn't be uh, sad and depressed and stuff like that. Uh, guys, I heard this uh, very amazing video. Most of us are usually awake at night on our uh, phones and uh, like basically our social life, not going out. And uh, we either, some of us wake up for Fajr and then sleep immediately after Fajr. And uh, you know, some of us do not wake up for Fajr and uh, we pray Fajr late. Now, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he prayed for, you know, the, the time after Fajr. There is khair in it. So make sure, you know, uh, first of all, you should wake up for Fajr. Uh, the two sunnah before the two rakah of Fajr, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that the best from everything in the world so you know make sure i sometimes miss it but inshallah i will make a habit of you know uh, making sure i pray it on time inshallah and then one more thing is once uh, our prophet he was talking with his sahaba and uh, he said that uh, uh, you know there is something even more scarier than uh, the fitna of the jal and they asked him uh, what is it and he said it is uh, this uh, shirk that is inside your heart and uh, the type of shirk is this like for example if someone is praying and just because someone is looking at you you know you just make your prayer much more nice and much more presentable and stuff not for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of like people are looking at you and uh, this thing is uh, something that you know uh, we do not even realize it so it is said that it's like a black stone in the middle of the night a small black stone in the middle of the night or a small ant in the middle of the night we can't see it and then it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger so we start like you know our prayers and our everything is uh, just because you know people should uh, think that uh, we are praying and all this type of stuff may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and uh, it worries me as well because uh, definitely you know I'm I'm putting this on uh, like YouTube in my videos and my aim is uh, just to like for example if I am learning something good and I try to share it May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect me from all types of shirks and from all types of uh, waswasas because we are humans and uh, the Satan is running behind us with everything he's got. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Please uh, make sure you guys pray your uh, five prayers and uh, try to read uh, you know, the last three ayahs of uh, the Quran. Stay in wudu and uh, stuff like that to protect yourself from evil eye and all this type of stuff. And uh, have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Write short uh, like for example, you know, we have depressing days and you know sad moments it's it's a part of life but uh, write down some quotes uh, from Quran about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about uh, sayings of the Prophet you know that you look at and then you know you you feel it so you know it, it gives you strength to move on with your uh, with your problems and issues for me I was reading uh, I was actually watching a video and then uh, I was I listened to Imam Dr. Israr Ahmed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him in heaven. Uh, what happened is uh, he said that if you believe, like if you really believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you, then what are you afraid of? Like is there anything more powerful than him? Or is there anything that he can't do? Okay. So what are you afraid of actually? Like I have written that down on my car. So every time I sit in it, you know, it comes in front of me. And uh, the problems I go through daily, like for example, the payments not released, labor's messing up, all this type of stuff. You know, it is scary because you can be kicked out of the site and you all this type of stuff happens. But, you know, like uh, when just my, like I, I look at it and uh, just feel better that uh, khalas, inshallah, there will be khair. If it happens, good. If it doesn't happen, there is still khair in it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for me.
Alhamdulillah, no problem. Uh, about the size, this decoration work today, it's not uh, that much. Let's say I, I will calculate it in uh, linear meters, inshallah. I will speak with the client and calculate this in linear meters because we can measure it with square meters. It's uh, uh, pointless. And I hope so these small, small things up and down here and there can cover up that loss. Let's see, inshallah, khair.